guys, welcome back to the hobby farm. Uh, we're out here in the garage and we're gonna work on the manure spreader. Uh, we got a few things that we gotta get done. I got some new chain and some new cross member stuff. I don't have all of it yet, but at least can get both sides put in. And then I can just weld all, you know, all the cross members that I need. So we'll go ahead and get at that. So sit back and relax and enjoy the video. All right, uh, the first thing we gotta do is get the chains on both sides then I think I have three of these left these bars here from the original I just want to space those out a little bit but uh, they have to be you know the, the, the count has to be even between each one otherwise it will get cockeyed and break all over again so that's probably the hardest part of all this is keeping track of how many links you got in between each runner but uh just take it slow and we'll get it done it's a messy job but someone's got to do it i guess so all right let's get this done This is how you gotta separate them, it's kind of hard.
things are hard to get in there. All right. I need to get another 15. Yeah, so I just got to keep pulling it down and around and keep adding certain pieces to here. I got to add one more. And then between these two, I'll have to weld on a piece. Uh, I think I got one more to add. And then keep pulling it around. And then get, once I get it back up here, then I can get it connected. Which that's going to be the hard part because you got to have enough slack in it to connect it, but not too much slack to where it rubs the ground or drags the ground. So. I'll go ahead and get some more links separated and get this going. Okay. And things are hard to get on. Sorry about the bouncy ride. Those things are a big pain to put put together because they're pinched so tight, you know. But uh, I got those on, so now I just need to finish making a full run, counting how many I have to have in there, hook it to that, and see where I'm at. So at least let's get that done, and then I'll have to come back out here tomorrow. Uh, I got to get another roll of that chain and then finish this up. But let's see if we can get at least one side hooked up and all together and that way I can get the count of uh, links that I need so I know how many I need for this side so let's get at that
All right, got late on me tonight, so that's all I'm gonna do for today. So that'll be part one. Um, as soon as I get the other, the rest of the chain, I'll weld in a couple more of those cross braces, and then we'll try this thing out again. So uh, stay tuned for part two, and we'll get this thing finished. So I'll catch you guys later.